Alright folks, this video is all about how to clean your balls. Your magnet balls, Zen magnets, or whatever other brand you happen to have. I happen to have a mix of different brands, most of them are Zen. So, after a while they will collect metallic dust, iron filings or whatever. They concentrate at the poles, the north and south poles which stick together which I figure might cause abrasion and eventually wear of the tips of the magnets and cause them to start flaking their, their plating off. So what I'll do is take some folded paper towel, lay that down the table, then some tape, I use gaffer tape, although duct tape would work. This stuff is nice because it tears cleanly. And you tape it, put, tie it to the table with a couple short pieces of tape. Just a little demonstration here. If I split the string, one method you can use, just split the string dab the ends against it and you see some dirt there, dab it again, more dirt, dab it again, done. Usually it takes about three dabs to get it done. If you've got 4,000 magnets, this gets really old after a while. So, one method I use to speed things up a little bit is I made this stylus out of UHMW plastic, tapered the end, drilled a five and a half millimeter hole in the end first, then sanded it down to a fine edge against the, the end of the, um, at the tip. And it's about half of the magnet width and depth. So now all I have to do is just trap the magnet under the stylus at the end here, drag it across it a couple times, and a couple more. I found you can do one pass, but that doesn't catch it all. So you have to zigzag a couple times to get it all. And the, at the end, the magnets tend to bunch up in various ways or skitter around. There's a risk if you lift at the wrong point that it will um, want to roll off the table and you'll lose it. So I decided to improve things a little bit. And plus I didn't like put, put, putting as much pressure downward against the magnets as I, as I was doing for risk of scratching them with dirt that collects in the socket here. So the next stage is this device. A piece of plywood, a piece of quarter inch steel plate from scrap which allows the magnets to provide their own pressure against the plate. A hole at the end angled through the at the end with a v-notch to guide the, um, the stylus in. So now all I have to do is I put down this again, push the tape down against it, and start the operation again. You can hear this lumpy sound. That is the poles of the magnet pulling down against the plate as it crosses. So the magnets are providing their own cleaning pressure against the plate and I don't have to push them against it and possibly cause them to not turn. All I'm rather doing is just dragging them across the plate lightly and they provide their own pressure due to the magnetic fields. And you can all you can see already some of them are quite dirty. And there's no dirt showing down here as I drag them across that section which means pretty much all of it is coming off on the first half of the tape. Let's see how fast I can do this. Eventually I'd like to automate this with some sort of an automatic feeder and, and a device to advance the tape slowly. I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet, especially the part about advancing the tape. And that's it for that set. So let's test them here. Remember before almost every one of them was dirty when I tested it. One, two, nothing there. Three, four, nothing. Five, six, nothing. Seven, eight, no dirt. Eleven, twelve, and that's it. 
after you've done a hundred or so you collect quite a bit of dirt. There's also a fair number of flakes of the nickel plating in here, although I haven't seen any magnets with severely worn spots on the ends. Of course, then again, I haven't inspected them all. But it does get quite a bit of stuff off of them, which I figured, if anything, is going to be contributing to the wear of the magnets. And also cause the, the string lengths to vary a little bit, and maybe your constructions to be not as solid as they should be, because they have stuff in between them, and it changes the spacing very, very slightly. So, that's it, folks.